to another day of Studio 17 Live, the Golden Empire's very first lifestyle show. I'm your host, Ileana Capian. We have another great show uncovering the fun and culture of Kern County, so let's get to it. Studio 17 Live is presented by Dignity Health, Mercy, and Memorial Hospitals. Happening in Health is a segment designated to diving a little bit deeper into the medical conditions we should all be more aware of. Now, March is Kidney Health Month, and with us today to tell us a little bit more about bringing awareness to Kidney Health Month is urologist Dr. Edmund Youngstrom from Dignity Health. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very much. Of course. Okay, what do we need to know? Let's start with the basics. What do our kidneys do? Well, our kidneys are actually two kidneys. We have them in the back part of our body, and their main job is to help filter the blood, filter out the toxins, and also make urine. Okay, so you said they're kind of in the back part of your body. So is that what you should kind of be aware of if you start to get pains kind of back there? Yeah, so a lot of times when people have kidney stones, for instance, they'll start to feel a little bit of pain in their flanks and sometimes even in the side parts of their lower belly. Interesting. Okay, so what are kidney stones? You just mentioned them. So kidney stones are kind of exactly what they sound like. They are little crystals that form in the urine and they usually start up in the kidney and then they can start working their way down the kidney tubes and eventually into the bladder. And they're no fun. They are no fun. <laughs> We've told everybody that you're here to talk about kidney stones and everyone's reactions is like, oh gosh, please no, we don't like them. But what is the common cause for kidney stones? Well, there can be a lot of different causes for kidney stones, but the main number one major cause is dehydration, especially here in the Central Valley right. where the weather's starting to get really hot and people are outdoors a lot. They're not drinking enough water and they form stones. Oh my goodness. And you're just, you were talking about it, but drinking water, especially here where we know it's, it's going to start to get warmer. We're just getting a taste of it now. So like staying hydrated throughout the heat. Yeah, so staying hydrated, water is the very best liquid. Um, and again, you know, it's drinking enough until you make your urine is clear. Mm -hmm. um, that really means making between two and three liters of urine a day. So depending on what you're doing, that can be a whole lot of water. So clear urine, you're basically in the clear. That's Hopefully. it. Hopefully, that's the thought. <laughs> now, what is the possible treatment for kidney stones? Well, treatment is dependent upon where the stone is located, how many stones you have, and whether or not it's causing symptoms. So if you've got a small stone in the kidney that's not bothering you very much, maybe you don't need any treatment at all. Other times it's just medicine or sometimes surgery. Oh my goodness. What's the biggest kidney stone you've seen? Uh, I've seen a whole kidney filled with an entire stone. No. Oh my goodness. And at that point, what's the treatment option? You try to remove it the best you can and sometimes it's just removing the kidney. Wow. So it's important to kind of keep an eye out Absolutely. for these, these things. Um, are there other ways to prevent kidney stones? Well, if you're a recurrent stone former, which means that you're forming multiple stones year after year, best thing to do is to get checked out by a urologist. We can run special blood tests and special urine studies that can help try to determine the cause of the stone and the best medications to prevent them. Is there a way to know if you're more prone to it? Like, does it, is it in your family? If you're Yeah, it's very, it's it? very related to genetics. So okay. if your mom and dad have kidney stones, unfortunately, you're likely to have them. What made you want to go into urology? You know, I think it, I'm a big advocate for men's health mm -hmm. and, you know, I think the joy of being able to relieve someone of that kidney stone pain, absolutely. that's a pretty nice feeling. And yeah. I know it makes the patients feel better. Yes, absolutely. Well, it's very important. I'm glad we were able to touch on it uh, before the month ended. But just, just kind of getting that out there, spreading a little bit of awareness about it. Where can people reach out to get more information from you guys? Um, DignityHealth.org will have a, a bunch of great resources on how to find a great primary doctor or urologist to help with your kidney stone needs. Okay, and really quickly, explain to me what the pain would feel like for somebody that's kind of going through what it needs to keep an eye out for it. Usually it's sudden and onset, um, kind of comes and goes, kind of moving all around, nothing seems to make it better and uh, it really really can be quite painful. Okay, so just very uncomfortable, sudden yeah. onset, just kind of be aware of it. That's like it. you said, you guys are there for to help people with this, so give your doctors a call. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming Thank on Thank you today. so much for having me. Of course.